You eat, Bill? No. Come on, I'll buy it. Where's the city editor's desk? The guy with a pipe. Much obliged. Greeley, huh? Yep. Just call me Danny. Any guy named Greeley should go west. Get a coming east. Uh uh. My old man made that mistake. Coming east might be another mistake for you. Well, not after spending two years on the Wattleville Echo under Jim Rose. How is Rose? Lung still bothering? Still bothering other people. Yeah. Well, every time he gets a grouch on, you can hear him for miles. Yeah. And whenever the Echo gets scooped, he invents new cuss words. <laughs> the old horse's neck. You said neck. Yeah. Never was good on anatomy. City desk. Sure, it's parking. That you, Grayson? Get on the wire quick, Jones. Grayson got another red hot scoop. Go Baron at it again? Biggest robbery in years. Get the facts for lead and don't love any details. Must have went out of style with me the day women quit wearing. Boy, right, boy. Right. Yeah, boy. Tell Red the whole jack rap for makeover. Hey, Smitty. Knock out a hot resume of the gold baron's crime. Front page box. Right. Keep your shirt on, you big loud. This ain't short. Make that snapping, keep your trap closed. You know where Bradley thinks the sun rises. Yeah, that's his mistake. Boy. All right, let her rip you, big sir. Boy. Boy. Yes, Mr. Perkins. Oh. Get this red. Tell him more coming. Yes, Mr. Perkins. Shut up. Hurry. What's up, Perkins? Plenty. Raven's got another red hot scoop. Gold baron got away with me in William. Good man. Good man. Gotta be better than good to get away with five million. Oh, I don't mean him, I mean Grayson. He's a good reporter. Yeah, well, I mean the head of this gold gang. I never heard of Grayson when you brought him here. I don't think he is a reporter. I think I'll burn the pants off the police commission. If they weren't asbestos, they'd be blazing now after that last editorial of yours. Big scoop, Mr. Perkins? Uh -huh. Can I help? Yeah, why not bothering when I'm busy? Perk's the original trash. Got a one-track mind. Thanks. Uh-uh-uh. Not on the furniture. Come on, kid. See, he's likely to blow up when he gets to this place. Frick's got dynamite for bones and nitrogen in his veins. Enter, monsieur, and leave all hopes behind. Is it all right? Take a chance, big boy. That all? Sure, that's all. Is that enough? Too much, but hot stuff. Have you it all? <laughs> well, don't forget the boss's pet literary efforts. Nuggets of wisdom. Nuggets be darned. We're dealing in bullion. Hit the rush on the ball gang. Give me it. Move on, Joe. Can't hurry these wild type babies, Red. Beats all what that gold bounds gang gets away with. I say he ought to be on the Clarion's payroll when he supplies copy like this. Nobody has a clue to who the leader is and who's in the gang. They've stolen millions. What's the matter with the cops? That's what Bradley wants to know. He's blasted the police commissioner with more broadsides than the Jeff threw into Shanghai. <laughs> kind of burning him up, eh? Commissioner Drake's so hot under the collar, he had to quit wearing celluloid. And the Herald, that's the rag down the street here, has been scooped every time the gold barons made a raid. They hate Grayson's uh, inside. 
Gee, I'd certainly like to get a crack at a yarn like that. Yarns like those break once in a lifetime. Then it takes a veteran to handle them. They don't generally give those assignments to cubs. Maybe you heard what I did in Wattlesville last spring. Seems like I did, but it slipped my mind. Let's see, something big, wasn't it? Big? Why, scandal that rocked the whole town of Wattlesville. I turned in the mayor's wife for cheating. A, a bridge. Sure, I remember it. Why, the Eastern papers played it up big. On the level? Well, I gave it to the Associated Press wire man, but I thought it would just be a squib. I should say not. Byline and everything. Let's see, the name was... Uh... Daniel H. Greeley. Right. Want me, boss? Yes. Knock out a new editorial for front page. Next edition. Gold Band versus Law and Order, eh? And what the police have to do with it? We've called Commissioner Drake everything the law allows, haven't we? Couple him with the opposition. Say that the Herald put him in there and ask why. Intimate that there's a reason. And prove it by the fact that the Herald overlooks these robberies until they are forced to follow the clarion. I get you. Speed, huh, boss? Made over on the street in 20 minutes. Harold can't make it for another 10. Where's the nuggets of wisdom box? Had to drop it, make room for grace and stuff. Everything that wasn't a must had to go overboard. Listen, you can drop anything except that nugget box. After this, I expect to see... If you think that thing's getting circulation for the clarion, you're crazy. You're the only guy that reads it. Listen, I own this paper. Having money enough to buy a newspaper never made a journalist out of anybody. No? Well, it's put a lot of hack city editors in the bread line. And a lot of slimy politicians in the gutter. You know the record of the clarion since I foreclosed and took it over. Advertising's doubled, circulation tripled. Uh, that shows what a businessman can do. You think you did that, huh? Up to now, you've had the good sense to hire the best men and let them run this rag. That's the secret of your success. Maybe you're right, Perkins. You're a good city editor, and I won't interfere in your department. But I've made a hobby of this Nuggets of Wisdom thing, and I'd like to see it in every edition. From now on, Mr. Shakespeare, you'll find your personal literary efforts on page 10 with the comics. Met any nice girls yet? Well, just one. Girl I knew back in Wattlesville. She's a dancer. Folly? No. Scandal? No. Temptation? Vanity? No, you see. Oh, I see. Not under contract at present, eh? Oh, but wait her legs. Well, I showed these to Earl and Flo and George, and nothing happened. Why, they must be crazy. Thanks, Danny. Is it really tough for a girl to get on? Have you ever seen a farmer appraising a horse? Sure, but, but what's that got to do with a girl's leg? These flesh empresarios are used to looking at the female form that they act like farmers looking over livestock. Well, I'm glad. All set to be jealous, eh? Guess I'm kind of nutty about June. You know, we went to high school together. June? What's the last? Bonham. June Bonham. She's working in the hat check room at the Embassy Club until she gets a break. Oh. Oh, Larry. I want you to meet Mr. Greeley. New man, just came to work. This is Mr. Grayson. Not the Mr. Grayson that just made the Gold Gang scoop. All in a day's routine. Gosh, you're certainly modest. If I'd made that scoop, I'd be all thrilled up about it. Not part of your assignment to help just tell him, is it? Oh, no. I guess I'll be giving the police beat. Miss Daisy was kind enough to bring me into a safe spot while the city editor was having a fit about your scoop. Oh, Perk's probably calmed down now. Why don't you go see him? I'll do that. Well, I'm very glad I met you, Mr. Grayson. I guess I'll be seeing a lot of you both. He's just a green kid from out west somewhere. Perk was blowing up and I brought him in here out of the way for a minute. Keep that stick out of here. You understand? Sure, Larry. It's 
you say so. Well, I wouldn't take you on, really, if Rosie hadn't recommended you. Well, he said when you got through training me, I'd be a real newspaper man. I can't do anything unless you've got brains and nerves. I've got both, Mr. Perkins. Hmm. What do you do best? Police, county courts, anything. Maybe I could help Grayson on that gold gang stuff. Yeah. Now pick up the vital statistics at the county house. Peep in at the morgue and be on the way back. Okay. Oh, sorry. Mr. Simpson to you. Mr. Sorrell Simpson, world's greatest photographer. Hey, the city editor wants you to get out an enlargement of that Beatrice Van Allen dame in a big hurry. That guy was born in a hurry. Yeah, and he's gonna die in a hurry if the boss doesn't drag him off that gold gang crusade. What's B. Van Allen been doing now? Making whoopee with her old man's dough? Well, she's throwing a soiree at the Embassy Club tonight. All the blue bloods and half the jewels of New York will be there. Hey, what's this? Something new, gonna revolutionize newspaper photography. It is? Yeah, sure. Wait a minute, I'll show you. See that watch down around Bradley's desk? Where? Right there by the phone. Yeah. You can hardly see it from here, can you? Wait a minute, I'll show you. Well, I'm waiting. Hey, just a minute. This thing is faster and instantaneous. There. Gosh, that's great. How'd you do it? Oh, it's simple for a mastermind. Even Einstein himself can understand it. Telescopic lens and magnifier, quick developing bath and all that. Must be worth a fortune. Millions. That's why I ain't taking no lip off of this guy Perkins. Well, swell to be independent, sorry. Mr. Simpson. Sorry, Mr. Simpson. But would you mind getting out that enlargement? Yeah, they would want something now when I gotta go on a leg hunt. But not that it's any pleasure. Frontline course? No, a picture break for some dame with a swell pair of legs. Yeah, spirit of youth and all that. Anyone in particular? No, I gotta dig up a dame with a swell figure. Not so particular about her face. Face wouldn't hurt if it was good looking, would it? Nobody ever sees a face in leg art. Well, I have a friend. She's a dancer in the cloakroom at the end. A dancer in the cloakroom? You mean a hat check girl? No, thanks. Oh, but this girl ought to be in the Follies. Only she's out of work temporarily. Friend of yours? Yeah. We went to high school together. She sure knows her stuff. Only she hasn't any drag with these managers around here. I'll give her a break, will you? Sorry. Some producer might see it and give her a contract. You want to lose her, huh? She's not that kind. A peach. Swell kid. Eyes, uh, okay. Better than Venus. Trot her up. I'll have a look at her. Okay, I'll phone her right away. She'll be over here in a jiffy. All right. But tell her to bring her tight. Hey, sorry. She didn't have any tight. So she brought her own ballet costume? How long is it? Oh, it comes down to about... Say, Danny, I thought you were supposed to be working down the morgue today. Oh, I took a couple of hours off. Things down there are pretty dead. Oh, well, you could sell that one to Collie Dumer. They don't buy their own stuff back. What do you mean, their own stuff? Well, that's original. Ready? How do I look? Oh, baby. Marvelous. Well, the best pair I ever saw. Hmm. You don't have to dance with legs like those. But I don't want people to admire my legs. I want them to like my dancing. Amputate a chorus. You don't have much left. Well, 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 don't you think we'd better get going? Yeah, yeah, now stand right there. That's it. Now hold it. That's fine. Now hold it. Is this pose all right? Well, uh, no. Uh, raise the hands a little. Higher. Uh, put them behind the neck. That's it. That's fine. Now, now turn the head a little. A little more. Now a great big smile. That's fine. Hey, wait a minute. You'll get it out of focus. That's it. Now hold it. That's it. Just a minute now. All right. Now 
Now you can have a look. Oh, gee, sorry, that's swell. Mr. Simpson? Yeah, we better take another one to make sure. Yeah, to make sure. That's it. That's fine. Well, that's all. Oh. I'd like to get a print when they're finished, uh, if you could spare one. Sure. Well, I'll bring it over tonight, if I'm not tied up. Thanks. Say, I could deliver that myself. for your nuggets of wisdom, it's on the front page. Nothing dresses up a front page like a box. Yeah. But somebody's liable to read it. The circulation will start dropping. The paper looks dead tonight. Couldn't you rake up a nice murder? Town's dead. So's the least wire stuff. I shunted the League of Nations up to page two and dressed up the Van Allen charity ball for page one. Any news of the gold baron? No, oh, not a peep. That editorial of yours riled the police. Reckon he figures he'd better play dead. Say, do you suppose that these Van Allen jewels could be phonies? They're the real McCoy, Chief. A queen's ransom, huh? Three queens and a pair of kings, if I know my poker. Suppose you have Middleton check up on what the smart set will wear. Have those jewels estimated and all that. You know, that's routine. More than a million in gems alone. Hey, that's a good subject for my nuggets of wisdom box. Thousands of people starving. I'll write you up a new nugget for the new, uh, next edition. A makeover for that clap trap. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Herald's Police Commission. How are you, Drake? How do you suppose I am? With you and your filthy rags stirring up this mess over the gold gang outfit? Don't blame me or the clarion for your inefficiency. If you and your dirty rag wasn't making a laughing stock of the police, we'd have the gold gag long ago. Yeah? Yeah. How do you figure that? I've come up here to find out something that's worrying me, Bradley. Have a chair, Drake. I'm sorry I haven't got one of those rockers on it. Yeah. You're getting the details of these robberies pretty fast. We work fast. Got a nice newsy paper. Yeah. My motto is first with the latest. Someday you're going to make a mistake and print something before it happens. That will be when I find out your plans ahead of time and just what your split is. Why, you rang for me, Chief? Yes. Here, Drake. Clarion's on the level. I want Mr. Drake to make his charge in front of competent witnesses. Do you wish to repeat the charge? I haven't anything to say except... Oh, what the devil, Bradley? Why don't you lay off and give the police a chance? Get the boys back to work. All right, boss. The trouble with you, Drake, is that you haven't done anything. 
I know it looks bad, Bradley. Your men are either asleep or out pitching cutting parties. A law-abiding citizen isn't safe anymore. But a gang of criminals, armed to the teeth and robbing the town of millions, can roam the streets undisturbed. That's what your paper's got the whole town leaving. The police is not on the job. Well, what do you want me to do? Sing the praises of the Herald's police commissioner? Now, I'm not taking any orders from the Herald, even if it did back my appointment. And I'm not taking any orders from you, Brad. At least the Herald gives cooperation, and all I get from you is criticism. The Clarion is perfectly willing to cooperate with you in every way. But until you clean up this city, I'm going to keep on lambasting you. You just love me, don't you, Brad? Nothing personal in it, Drake. When you get the gold baron and his gang, I'll print your praises in higher type than I ever damned you. Have a cigar. <coughs> 79 Ceylon Pearl. 79's right, isn't it? Thank you so much. Hiya. Why all the glad rags? Oh, I was all prettied up for the ball, and then the boss gives me this rush assignment at the last minute. Gee, you certainly look swell. Never mind the blarney. Just help me get this stuff out, will you? I don't want to spoil my manicure. Sure. I'd rather be sitting up here with a live one than down at that morgue with all those dead ones. Ooh, rather a doubtful compliment, Danny, comparing me to a lot of stiff. Oh, I didn't mean it that way, Daisy. But you know how it is sitting down there waiting for something that never happened? And besides, when they do bring in a body, it's already been covered from the police end. Yeah. Well, let's get going. Shoot. Uh, Beatrice Van Allen. String of 79 perfectly matched pearls. I forgot. This is what I came in to show you. That's June, the girl I was telling you about. Not bad. Oh, she's a queen. Some figure, boy. You know what's the funny thing about June? She gets mad at the about her legs. It's her destiny to admire. Yeah? Well, then I wonder how she'll feel about this. Well, that sorry Simpson did this. And when I get through with him, the client's gonna need a new photographer. Woo! Wait a minute, Miss. Bradley wants a front page box of all the wealth represented at this ball tonight. And you promised to help me get it out. Now the murder of Sari Simpson can wait. Well, let's go. Snap into it. Let's see. Van Allen pearls, yeah. Uh, Martha Lindenfeld. Diamond Tiara. Jean Vandenecker. Famous Vandenecker Emerald. It sure be news if the Gold Baron's gang was to get in on these gems. Yep. Juice Jocelyn, East India Ruby, necklace, earring, and bracelets to match. Daniel H. Greeley, 25 cents thick pin. Daisy Pelham, lingerie class, from the 5 and 10. I'll bet we'd stick out like a couple of sore thumbs in that mob. Say, have you got a tough? If the malls haven't eaten it. Then I'll bat the rest of this stuff out. You jump into your tongue. Well, wait a minute now. I haven't been invited. And besides, there's June. Listen, I'll fix the invite to the CE. It'll be an assignment. And June mustn't interfere with your career as a newspaper reporter. It's in your line of duty. I know, but, but June wouldn't like that. Ah, oh, don't act like an old married man. Made Drake take water, huh? Yeah, lacks guts. The only thing that keeps him in the office is the Herald. <laughs> that rag won't be able to do anything for anybody. Time we've scooped it a few more times. How would you like to manage the Herald? Yeah. I mean, for me. Going to buy it? If I can get it at my price. Old Samson won't sell. Well, he just thinks he won't. All we've got to do is to keep pounding his circulation down. A few more of these gold baron scoops will do the trick, I think. If Grayson can keep up his underworld contacts, just give Grayson a free hand and keep the rest of the staff off that story. 
I'm beginning to worry about Grayson and his mysterious sources of information. Newspaper ethics, eh? Yeah. Ethics. That's what makes the press respected. That's what gives it power in the community. A newspaper has got to be a member of every home it goes into. It's got to be clean, trustworthy, dependable. You may be a successful politician, Bradley, but you've got a long road to hold before you become a successful journalist. Clarion's picked up a lot, though, since I took it over, hasn't it? I know a lot of first-class newspapers that are not making their salt, but they've got everybody's respect, including their own. Well, I must go and make over that front page. We've got to be on the street in 20 minutes. Oh, park it. Yeah. Mind substituting this nugget of wisdom? It's in regard to that Van Allen shindig at the embassy. It's oak by me, Chief. job to, to attend these balls. You see, she writes about fashions and jewelry. I see. All about what they wear, but not how they got them. Oh, my dear. It would never do to write about that, in most cases. You, you see, the city editor assigned me to escort Miss Teller. Oh, I'm sure it would be much more interesting than hanging around the board. Oh. Well, now, that's not quite fair to the ladies. You might want to dance. Come on, Danny. Let's go in. I'm glad I met you. And if you ever have any heart problems, drop me a line. I'll see you in a little while. Oh, don't mind me. I just work here. Come along, Danny. Boyfriend chiseling? No, he's not chiseling. Line of duty, hey? That covers a lot of reporters' sins. I used to go with one. And when he wasn't cheating, it was because he was too soused. Danny doesn't drink, and he's not cheating. Oh, tell that to Sweetie. I'm telling you. Well, you certainly get awfully mad about a fellow you trust. Peter's going to have a wonderful time tonight. How are you doing? I met you with the last one. What's the news? I was just uh, glancing at the nugget of wisdom. It's the best thing in the clarion. What's it say, Dice? What kind of balls out the dames down here for wearing a million dollars in jewels? Oh, thousands of people are starving. <laughs> Absolutely right. Something ought to be done about it. Yes. Some shindy. Haven't seen it. Not so, baby. What about? Oh, me coming with Daisy. I mean, Miss Tellum. Miss Tellum to me. And Daisy to you. Oh, no. You must be a cub. Or you'd be 
back there for a personal interview. Let me help you, honey. You've been a lot of help to me tonight. Me thinking you were down at the morgue working. Oh, there's nothing down there going to run away. And besides, I've got to go where the boss sends me. Oh, you don't need to be jealous of Daisy. Why, she's just a business acquaintance. Well, she acts like she owns you. Oh, you know who Danny belongs to? She knows all about love and how to make men fall for her. That's all she writes about. Oh, now look. Daisy doesn't mean a thing to me. Honest, not a thing. Oh, go on and back and dance with her. That's all she brought you out here for. I'm going to dance with you. That's who I'm going to dance with. Go ahead and have a good cry, honey. Daddy. What? You do love me, don't you? Cross my heart. And you, you won't ever have anything to do with that, that love expert? Not a thing. As far as I'm concerned, you can go home in a cab. at her column. She's stuck on herself. Sure. Fellas down the office all get a big laugh out of her. Why, Mr. Greeley, there hasn't been any music for ages. Oh, <laughs> well, your voice is all the music I need. Up in the ballroom, fellas. Grab those jewels. Come on, pick them up. You might have a gun under this counter, girly. You better step back up against that wall. Oh, pick up. Uh, you watch those guys. On with your conversation as if nothing had happened. Gives me as though we're going to have a wonderful time here tonight. Put your hands down. Why, uh, have you ever attended a reception here? Yes, This chap have. has the most marvelous cellar you ever saw. All right, you men, line up back of the women there. Come on, keep them up higher. All right, now stand still. Don't anybody move. Come on, spit it out, lady. That's better. If it isn't the gold gang, I've missed my guess. Do you think they'll kill us? Where can I get hold of the telephone? I've got to call up my paper. There's one under the counter. They've got a long cord. Well, Danny, they might shoot you. Say, a scoop like this is worth a bullet. What's the matter, sister? Mm, uh, my, my knee is it. Well, bring it over here and I'll scratch it for you. Lay off the dame and keep your mind on your job. And wait till we find it. We'll have a good time. <laughs> uh, tell those fellows to work fast up there and not to overlook anything. Oh. Don't shake about it, lady. It'll be over in a minute. I haven't anything. Oh, yes, you have, baby. You've got plenty. All the jewels I ever had came from the five and ten. Yeah, what you got never came from Woolworth. Face, figure, and lots of it. Oh, yeah? No fooling, baby. What are you doing two weeks from Saturday? Writing a story for the Clarion about a guy who'll be in jail by that time. <laughs> a newspaper dame, eh? Well, if I'm there, drop in. I'd be glad to see you. I'll be glad to see you, too.
Metropolitan, 6600. City desk, quick. City desk. Hello, Perkins. Really? I'm over at the Embassy Club, and the Gold Baron's gang is holding up the joint. You give me Jones, and I'll dictate a byline story. Make it by Daniel H. Greeley. Thanks. We got it. Grayson just phoned it in. We'll be on the street in ten minutes. Grayson? Grayson's already phoned it in. Why, they're still robbing the place. Get in as quick as you can and give us anything Grayson's overlooked. Boy! Grayson's beat me to it. He's gotten out a byline story. How can he do it? That's just what I intend to find out. He just beat you to it, that's all. And you can't tell me Grayson wasn't zipped off in advance. He had that story in while it was happening. Grayson phoned it in from a room upstairs. Said he was standing on a balcony when the gang entered the foyer. He could have done that, couldn't he? Maybe. I didn't go up there. Tough break for you, Greeley. Better luck next time. Better get a nice, cool desk out by a window. Write your own impression of the robbery. Perkins, you was the kid's violin. Gee, thanks, Mr. Bradley. Chief, this is going to be a thriller. Clarion Reporter versus Gold Gang by Daniel H. Greeley. Boy, police wire company, Russia. Back to me there, boss. By Daniel H. G. R. E. E. L. One. Underline. At a window opposite the St. George. Nobody else will be there. A dog watch. About two o'clock. Page box for tomorrow's first edition. Again, the Metropolitan Clarion has demonstrated its ability in the news field and justified its motto first with the latest. Blah blah blah. I got just got a thirty-minute beat on its nearest rival, the Herald, huh. with the full detail of the million-dollar gem robbery at the embassy. Blah blah blah. Rip the guts out of the police department. Yes, chief. Again, the inefficiency of the police commissioner and his men has proved beyond peradventure of doubt. Blah blah. Yes, I get you, chief. Who can this mysterious gold baron be? How is it that he knows just when and where to strike? Can it be possible that the higher-ups in the police department are in league with this arch criminal? Blah, 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 blah. Dangerous blah, blah. grounds, Chief. Getting mighty close to criminal liable. Think so? Well, get a copy down to Goplatsky, go Hill and Goplatsky for an OK. Who? Oh, Donahue. Oh. How about a carbon for the least wire service? I'll try them. They're pretty well loaded up with Grayson's yarn. Boy! Well, they'll take that all right. It's different from Grayson's stuff. I hope so. Take that out to Barney for the wire. I got another one. I'll knock it out right away for a follow-up. Got Grayson's story out yet? Just finished. Good. More robbery, dope. Add this to Grayson. Clarion reporter, concealed behind the coat rack, succeeded in reaching his city editor by phone while the million-dollar robbery was in progress. 
That's all. Here's a nugget of wisdom for the first edition tomorrow. Front page. Must. Okay, Chief. Any editorials for the front page? Yeah. Dobson's knocking out a hot one. Hey, why don't you quit for tonight? Get a little rest. Two o'clock. Yeah, might as well. Ready. Yeah, boss. Hold down the door, boss, and three. Okay, Chief. I'll be here. The old Baron ought to thank us a lot. Yes? In a way, we are accessories. Tipping off that gang in advance. Telling them it'll be a rich ball. Brow beating the police until they're afraid to move. We know better than the Baron's gang, only we don't carry guns. That's about our sole claim to virtue. It's the newspaper's job to print the news. Yeah, but we're practically tipping off that gang to stick up jobs. I don't like it. Preventing robberies is up to Mr. Drake and his cops. And there'll be other decent elements, including newspapers. Perkins, the editorial end will be strictly up to you, just as soon as I can affect a consolidation with the Herald. Mm. That will change considerably. Right through the window, just as I reached to pick up a package of cigarettes. Ripped the dickens out of everything, including the back of my best shirt. No, I'm going to stay here till I found out a byline story. I'll take a typewriter down in the basement. promise to my best girl. Oh, I suppose you're sorry about that kiss yesterday. Oh, it's not like that, Daisy. I like you, but I love June. Oh, oh Larry, I... You dirty little sneak. Always on the make. Oh, wait a minute. You take that back. Yeah? Well, you lay off this dame, you little rat. Oh, Larry, don't!
on himself. All swelled up about his scoop. Come with me, really. Come on, Lord, get back to work. Straighten yourself up, Graydon. Listen. Cut this out or out you go. I give you a chance, and what happens? You're not content with having your private enemies come and shoot up the place, but you've got to try to beat up my star reporter. Well, that machine gunner was no private enemy. And besides, Grayson isn't even a reporter. Explain yourself. Well, Grayson's putting one over on you, Chief. If he wasn't in with the gold baron and his gang, he couldn't possibly turn in these things almost before they happened. You're letting your imagination run away with your good sense. Grayson got wise, I suspected him, and what'd he do? Plant a machine gun where it'd do him the most good. You're a bad it, really. Crazier than a loon. Oh, yeah? Well, suppose that guy had shut up this place when everyone was working. Why, he might have gotten you, Chief. I'm sorry, Greeley. But I've got to let you go. It can't be helped. You mean I'm... I'm can? In the interest of harmony only. I haven't a thing in the world against you personally, but... Uh, I've got to let you go. Okay. Oh, you better stay out of here, kid. Grayson's terribly jealous. You're telling me? Thanks for not telling why the battle. Oh, that's all right, Daisy. I guess I won't be bothering you anymore after today. Oh, you don't mean... Yep. The can with a nice red ribbon. So long. Howdy. Well, you might have not. I'm Daniel H. Greeley, reporter. Hmm? Well, that accounts for your bad manners. What do you want? I just put the clarion. I thought I remembered your face. One of Bradley's satellites. Huh? Why? Uh, you came down to do your favor. The clarion? Yeah. Well, if you have, it's the first I ever got from that rag. I've got a clue to the gold gang. Let me have it. There's a fellow named Grayson on this. Oh, list. I know all about it. I've had fly cops tailing him for weeks. Oh, so you're suspicious, too. Suspicious of everybody. Catch myself watching my wife. I was at the embassy the night the place was robbed. I phoned in my story while the robbery was going on. To find out later, Grayson had sent in his yarn. And you got machine gun, and Grayson beat you up, and then you got can. You set me on the job, Commissioner. Well, I'll tell you something. I not only had Grayson shattered, but Bradley watched and even you trailed. Hmm. Not a clue, eh? Not a whisper. Might as well have been trailing a bunch of Sunday school teachers. Well, if I hear of anything, I'll let you know. Any time, kid. You can call me up out of the hay any hour. If you had anything that even smells like a clue. Don't be surprised, then, if I give you a buzz in the middle of the night. In the meantime, don't take any chances. Someone may be cooking up something hot for a boy about your size. I get you.
Pardon me. I'm looking for a job. You couldn't be as bad as the men I have, but there's nothing open. But I'm an experienced man. Daniel H. Greeley. Just quit the clarion. Don't want anyone on this staff that draws lead. Well, from what I hear, this staff lead's all in the seat of its pants. Why is cracking about the Herald staff won't get you anything here? Okay. Maybe that can't use scoops. Couldn't use me. <laughs> Pretty fresh, aren't you? Come around in the spring. Maybe by that time you'll be through hibernating. Well, sorry I interrupted a funeral. See you again sometime. Pretty creature. Scared you, didn't I? Danny, I thought you promised me never to have anything more to do with that Daisy Kellum. So I did, Davy. So I did. Well, read every fifth word in Daisy Kellum's cut. I'm trying to deny that you haven't been receiving confidential messages from her. Daniel, I'm still crazy about you. It's an old trick the girls used to use in school when they wanted to get messages to their crushes. Now try and deny it. Call Police Commissioner Drake right away. It's Metropolitan 7200. Well, but... Hurry! Metropolitan 7200. Just a moment. Commissioner, this is Greeley. Daniel H. Greeley. I've got a clue for you. Yes, a red-hot one. Get Dan Perkins, Clarion City Editor, and have him at your office in ten minutes. Yes, tell him to keep his mouth shut and to bring the Clarion files for the last month. Sure, sure. I'll be there. All right. Come on, honey. Get your hat and coat on, and we've got to get out of here. Hurry up. Well, wait till I get Dorothy to believe me. Don't know what this is all about, but here's the files. Show the commissioner how you got that cipher message out of the heart soul column. See, you just read every fifth word. I have them underlined. Uh, uh, Daniel? I'm still crazy about you. You say it's a message within a message. So that's your red hot clue to the gold baron, eh? Well, it's a clue uh, to a clue. Uh, now, here's the real message in Bradley's Nugget of Wisdom column. You read it a little bit differently, but it's there. You say, skip the first word, then skip two, then three, and so on. Read it. Split six ways and lay low. They're all right. What could that mean? Ever notice how Bradley insisted on running these boxes before and after the robberies? Now that you speak of it. Now to prove I'm right. Now here's the night the embassy club was robbed. By the same cipher we get million in gems. Get gang busy. Now I'll turn to the day after the robbery. The 10th, I think. Message in watch. 1927 Pelham Road. Bradley's nugget of wisdom, Buck. Is a code to gangland. I'll get the dictionary, that Pelham address. Okay, Commissioner, and leave the whistles and sirens out of it. Don't forget, this is a clarion scoop. Yeah. Do I get a byline on the roundup of Baron Bradley's gold gang? Hmm. The dirty crooks posing as newspaper men. Well, don't forget, the clarion's got a lot of dirty linen to wash up. Well, come on, we'll wash it. Danny, I'm terribly sorry. Well, if you're sorry for Bradley, you can save your sympathy. Oh, but you don't understand. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. Fred! Keep your eye on that door, honey. You see Bradley coming in, nudge me. There's a headline for you. Police catch the door again. Set it in stud or double line, and make it an extra. Story coming up? And what a story. Keep the trap closed and don't faint when you read it. Heard from Drake? No, but we're ready to let her rip when we do here. Get that, honey. Did he get it? You did? Yeah, we got the whole shebang. All except the Baron. Now, they haven't started to talk yet. But they will before I get through with them. Cops have smeared the gold gang, all except the leader. Any clue to who he is? 
Any clue to the Baron's identity? Yeah. Get this. A peculiar kind of a watch that... Yeah, a message in the back of a unique watch. The dial tells the year, day, week, and month of the glance. Bradley's. Better hurry up over here. We're expecting the chief at any minute. Boy! Also, Mr. Red, tell him to get paper on the press fast. He can't... Morning, Perkins. Morning. You wait right here, honey. Did he come in yet? Just got in with Sam from the Herald. Got the water? Suspicion of robbery, murder. Hold up with firearms. You and Bradley, you've got me on the hip. I'll have to sell it to your price. I'll make a good sheet out of the hell. Put it on its feet. Hey, I'm Mr. Bradley. Little byline story. I wrote on my own time. Won't cost you a thing. How's that for a scoop? Say, what is this, a joke? Yeah. And it's on you. And here's another one. A warrant for your arrest. You leave your watch. Around awful careless like. So it is yours. Well, I'll keep it for evidence. Where's Grayson? The sweat room at headquarters. Coughing up his insides. No, you don't. You knew all along, huh? I'm too dumb. Took Dan really to figure you out. <laughs> What'll you take for the joint, Bradley? <laughs> Nuggets of wisdom. Come along. Have a cigar. Good work, Danny. Wait till you read this one. Nice scoop, kid. Congratulations. Thanks. Come on. Read every other word in the first paragraph. How about a little... Now read the last one. Mr. and Mrs. Daniel H. Greeley are spending their honeymoon at Palm Springs. 